Howdy. So my name is Andrew Wynn. I am uh, not a shooting expert or anything. I just like to I like to shoot for fun. Um, I like guns, like building ARs, whatnot, you know. Anyways, this past week I decided I wanted a new 22 long rifle and a bolt action. So went to my local gun shop. I picked up a Begara BMR 22 long rifle. Um, this is the steel barrel. They do make a carbon barrel, uh, which is what mostly I found a lot of reviews on. So here's a review on the steel barrel. Um, on top of it, I have a Bushnell AR Optics scope. It's actually uh, for a 223, but it had the side parallax. So for me, I don't care about the bullet drop compensator, so it's going to work perfect for what I'm using it for right now. I picked it up, uh, we went to Tulsa yesterday. It was 179 plus tax at Bass Pro. It was, I mean, for being able to pick it up today, it was in my price range. They had some better scopes, a lot, a lot higher price. But for what I'm looking for, the scope seems to work perfect. It's a four and a half by 18. Um, I actually like the scope a lot. So it's got your side putter airlax down to 10 yards and up to affinity. So, yep pretty great um the bagar i like it a lot the one thing that i wish they maybe would have changed a little bit on the bagar sorry i think i might be a little close let me go ahead and move my chair further back so the one thing i wish they would have changed on this rifle but i do understand it's a i picked it up for 469 at my local uh gun shop so on the Begara high power rifles I've picked up, I really love the stickiness of the stock. It's got just a slight rubberized coating. This rifle does not have that. Um, it's got, man, it has an awesome trigger. Again, it's cleared. It's got an awesome trigger. From my understanding, a Remington 700 drop-in trigger would work on it as well, but I don't see that it needs upgraded. Like I said, I picked up the rifle for $469. I shoot standard velocity ammo. I shoot it suppressed. I really like shooting suppressed. It's super quiet. It doesn't annoy my neighbors. And so, therefore, maybe they like me a little more. Um, it's just a great all-around gun. The bolt feels great. It locks up super tight. I mean, it's just an all-around great built 22. And for the price... In all honesty, I was looking for a CZ American. I couldn't find one. Um, I'm a little impatient, so I watched some reviews on the Begara. Like I said, most of them were the carbon version. This is the steel version. And I decided to pick this one up. I like it. Super impressed with it. Um, again, I really don't have anything bad to say, except maybe I wish the stock had a little bit more of a sticky texture like the others. It's just a little slick, but I plan to put a little grip tape here. I mean, that's just my personal preference. For anybody else, I mean, it's not going to bother you. Again, the trigger, super smooth. Um, so let me set this back up here and show you what I've got set up. I've been doing a little bit. I've shot 150 plus rounds today. Uh, so far and I'm about to do a little bit. I'm gonna set my GoPro up and show you a little bit down range So right there. I have a 25 yard is my first target and so uh, We're just gonna See how that goes if you hear a little background noise. I've got a creek that's running. So but anyways, thank you and uh, Yep All right, we just got the GoPro set up. I think we're good to go. I'm shooting three ammunition, three types of ammunition today. All of them are uh, a standard velocity ammunition. Uh, again, I'm shooting through a suppressor. So I'm gonna shoot 10 rounds of each. I'm gonna call out where my shots are. I have my GoPro set up right on the target. So we'll be able to see where I'm hitting and what I'm hitting. So the first I'm gonna shoot is Fiocchi. Um, it's a Filo, I'm sorry, it's a Fiocchi Performance Shooting Dynamics 22 Long Rifle Standard Velocity. I'm going to shoot 10 rounds of it.
Sorry, uh, I didn't bring my five round mag. I have a 10 round mag, so I'm gonna have to load each of these as I go. Uh, Bergar, if you see this video, I would like a couple of magazines, but either way, I'm not, it's worth a shout out. Uh, again, I, I purchased all this myself. Nobody's giving me anything or any of that. I just honestly, like I shot this gun, I shot 150 rounds to it this morning. I've had it for three days. I absolutely love this gun. It is a tack driver. And uh, so I'm about to show you what it'll do with three different types of ammunition. Again, this one is the Fiocchi. Hold up there for a second so you can see. All right, let's see what it will do. So my first five shots are just kind of tune it because each 22 long rifle shoots a little bit different. That wind is going nuts. I hope it doesn't mess up our filming. So... There's a small red dot on the right corner about three inches from dead center bullseye. I'm going to use that to set this in. Shot one. Shot two. Let's go up one click. Help if I put the bolt back forward. Oh yeah. This should be shot number five. All right. Now for these next shots. Uh, all the way across the target, you've got a number calling out your inch marker. And so I'm going to shoot those numbers. Again, I mean, these numbers are, they're very small. I mean, they, I'd say that they're an eighth inch possibly. So the first one I'm shooting. Put a little low to the right. Well, I'm only shooting at 25 yards. Make sure my parallax is good. I'm still shooting a little right. Move it a click left. One was low. Again, I mean, this is all on me. Don't blame the gun. There we go. I drilled that last one. Let's go back to the shoot and see. There's a number eight on the right hand side. I'm going to go ahead and shoot it. And I smoked that one. All right, so that's 10 rounds of the Fiocchi. Uh, performance shooting dynamics next we have American Eagle suppressor right here so I'm gonna go ahead and shoot 10 rounds of it again sorry it's taking a second I have to load my magazine up um, I don't really know how to edit a video so if I can figure it out I will speed this process up but I've never tried to edit a YouTube video um, this will pretty much be my first youtube video i have a small one on a review for some headphones i bought off dhk um they're clones of the apple airpods if you like them go look again they're just clones i mean they're decent they're 23 bucks all right so we got this loaded up again american federal suppressor so all right so for this one I'm going to go down and I'm going to shoot the bottom right red dot about three inches from the bullseye. Shot just low. So let's see. That's 
move down one, left one. Man, I'm telling you, I shot better before I decided to get this freaking camera out. Take that one back where we had it. All right, it's four shots. Had a little bit of a stove pipe. I'm sure that was on me. You gotta learn to pull that back, that bolt back completely. All right, I think we're dialed in. All right, so dead center, we've got some numbers going down the target and I'm gonna be shooting those numbers out. Or I'm going to attempt to shoot those numbers out. All right. Ooh, smoke the first one. I hope that GoPro is getting this. Smoke the second one, man. Oh my gosh, got the third one. Let's see. I uh, shot just a little high of that last one. Have one shell left. Let's see. I'm going to hit the center of the bottom right black dot that is a shoot and see all right all right we've got two ammunitions down so far last one a cci standard velocity this is probably one of my favorite ammunitions but so far today um i believe the fiochi and the american the federal american eagle i think they've shot the best um i used to have a ruger 1022 that shot or not 1022 and a Ruger American 22 that shot this excellent. But each ammo shoots a little different, you know. It just takes a little fine tuning with the gun. Like I said, I'm not a professional. I don't. I mean, I'm not a. I'm not a target shooter. I can't shoot free handed to save my life. I mean, in all honesty, I missed a deer this year because I shot a tree three foot in front of me because. Instead of moving the gun, I, I rotated my gun uh, and to where the tree was out of my scope. So do not think that I'm a professional or anything. I'm just giving my honest opinion or view on this Pagara. And I mean, so far, I absolutely love the gun. Like I said, it's got a great trigger. Um, if, the, if you would call it a con, I don't even call it a con. I want that texture of the high power rifle on this scope. That's that is literally the only thing that I would change on this gun. Everything else is absolutely perfect. In my opinion, that's that's to me. I mean, everybody shoots a little different. All right. So now we've got the CCI standard velocity loaded in. So we are going to go to the top left red dot and get us five shots there. And then uh, we'll shoot some numbers out, hopefully. All right. That seems to be on. a little right but that's one thing that stinks about 22 you do get a flyer occasionally again could be me but 
Oh crud, I have to go fix my target real quick. It uh the clothespin come off the bottom. Give me one second. All right. All right. All right, I believe that was five shots. Threw myself off a little having to fix that. All right, let's see if I can shoot out some numbers. All right, on the right side, we're gonna start with the number eight. And you cannot read that. Let's go to the number seven. And there is no longer a seven. Ah, uh, you can see the six still. I barely missed it, but I did miss it. Let's go to the five. And I clipped the five, but it was not a perfect shot. All right, let's go to the bottom right. I'm sorry, the bottom left shoot and see black dot dead center and then I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do I'm going to put three shots in and I've got a shoot and see dead center I'm going to put one of each shell so I'm going to put in one federal well crud just built some of those on the ground but we got one federal if I can get it to load We'll do one CCI. And we will do one Fiochi. I have that shoot and see dead center that has not been shot yet. So we'll see if I can get it. Again, I don't know how this video is going to line up. I'm not great at editing. Um, hopefully I can get everything set up in real time. Um, you know, my GoPro's going, this camera's going. So as long as I can get on the sink, I think that will be awesome. And I'll just take the sound away from the GoPro. Um, again, I hope it works out good. All right, so we got three shots, three different ammos, aiming dead center of the shooting seat. That was Fiochi. This one is CCI standard velocity. Hmm. I don't believe I short stroked that one. I don't really, maybe the ejector didn't completely grab it. I'm not positive on that. Again, guns getting broke in. I have no complaints. And the last one, American Federal. And I cut the same hole as... Which one did I cut? Looks like the CCI, so... But American Federal and that CCI are shooting, I mean, just neck and neck. Um, the Fioche, the Fioche was shooting great earlier. Um, you know, again, you know, I've been adjusting on my scope a little bit, trying to fine tune it, but 
for me, I think it's great. We'll go back down here. I'll show you what I've shot. So the first ammunition I shot was the Fiocchi. So these are my first five shots with the Fiocchi right here. These are my next four. And this was the fit, the tenth shot. All right. And then next we went with the American Federal. These are my five shots with it. Just kind of getting it grouped in the best I can. These are the next three shots. This is my ninth shot and this is my tenth shot. With the CCI standard velocity, excuse me, this was my first five shots. And these were my next three, ninth and tenth. Oh, yes. So the CCI and American Federal that I just shot the last, where I put one of each round, they both hit this hole, and this was the uh, Fiocchi. Again, 